trying to go natural. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm overdue for my winter stash packs. I don't even use much. You guys know winter is my shortest season because I spend a bit of it in Trinidad. <laughs> as long as I said Trinidad, I guess really Trinidad. -y. But anyhow, um, yeah. So I basically just have the passion fruit and flax line from Chisento, which I reviewed already. The honey's handmade, which I'm about to review, and one other product from Chisento, which is the Royal Honey and Argan Hair Mask. I'm gonna give you like a little quick run through. I guess I'll spend the most time on this one just because I don't have a full review coming. But I'm gonna keep it kind of brief this season <laughs> and just let you know what I like and what I didn't and what I remember about each one, I guess. Yeah. So the passion fruit and flaps I was super excited about. I did a full wash day, starting off with the detox, which I loved. Love, love, love. Like I still kind of almost wanna say I'm getting chills thinking about it. Um my hair was just Clean, soft, moisturized, defined, conditioned. Just felt like everything happened in one product. So, and just like, you know, 10 minutes of sitting or whatever, everything was just angels and birdies were chirping. Angels singing. Like, it was good. So, I'll definitely be purchasing this. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Loved it to the max. New staple. I just love it. I don't know if you got that before. But for me, it was kind of like a clay mask, except less messy, but it still felt like defined and moisturized and conditioned and everything. It has the plastic, it has the activated charcoal. It's a very, very smooth consistency. So it's not grainy at all, and it's not messy at all. I just love everything about it. We'll be repurchasing for sure on Black Friday. After that, I used the Passion Fruit and Flax hair mask, which I also loved. Um, I love a lot of she sensitive conditioners, so I guess it wasn't as mind-blowing as the detox, but it was just as good. My hair felt juicy, which is like the ultra hydration for ultra low porosity hair like mine. I like that she's making all her deep conditioners kind of rich and creamy, or all her newer deep conditioners really rich and creamy. It smells really nice and like typical she scented sweet fruity, candy-ish kind of scent. I will full demo and I will also be repurchasing this for sure as well. So I think this one and the pomegranate DCs are my new favorite DCs from She Sent It so far I want to say. I haven't tried all of her new ones but of the new ones I love those two and I think I want to say even with the old ones I love those two just because a little goes a long way in the new ones more so than the old ones which are lighter plus it still gives you that juicy hydrated deep condition hair that you know and love from She Scented. Y'all know I love She Scented so She Scented will be seeing me as it will always see me every Black Friday. But then we have the leave-in which is a winter special, the Passion Fruit and Flax leave-in. It's a winter special because it's glycerin free and this is one of the few she scented leave-ins so that are glycerin free. So definitely, you know, did the wonderful she scented things, moisturized my hair, defined my hair. Slip was amazing, like with all her products, even the detox mask, the slip is amazing. All of those things are given, but I love in particular that this is glycerin free. And I will definitely be purchasing it just so I can have a she scented leave-in to use in the winter. So it's light, but it's not like the lightest ever, it's still creamy as well. It has that fruity scent, it smells a little bit lighter than the deep conditioner, which is good I guess since you're leaving it in. Then we get into the curl defining jelly, which for me was a bit of a disappointment, but in a way like it's my own fault because the main gelling ingredient is carbama, which I don't like, but I picked up my fast self and bought it anyway. <laughs> And then it did kabama things, big surprise, right? It has kabama in it, so it did kabama things. Which for me means like I'm putting it on on wet hair and it starts sucking a moisture, like my hair starts feeling kind of wonky. Like when I use Eco Styler, Extreme, Wet Line, all of it, it just does that. This has great ingredients as well around the kabama, which kind of compensated. So my hair was still moisturized and it wasn't like a complete ick, but it wasn't like soft and super moisturized and hydrated and stuff the way I want a natural gel to feel. This is the first one of the day that I'm not going to be repurchasing. But like I mentioned, if your hair is silky, you wouldn't, shouldn't have much of a problem with this. Because this affects my coarser hair, like my hair up here is more wiry and coarse. My hair in the back is more silky. So the silky part of my hair stays soft and moisturized and shiny and everything when I use this. It's just like the um, coarse part that kind of has issue with it. It did give my hair some definition and everything it just didn't feel luscious so yeah I almost forgot this cream rinse 
So I really like this cream rinse as well. This is like a rinse on conditioner. I almost forgot it just because like, I don't usually use conditioner. <laughs> I just happened to have bought it. Ingredients were good and I was like, I'm gonna use it as a leave-in or something. So I bought it. Did I have to use it as a leave-in? PJ problem. I think I did. And I liked it. <laughs> I think I used it as a leave-in um, just before I went to Trinidad. So I'm gonna see if I find those pictures on Instagram to post. Um, but I did like it. Definitely is moisturizing, conditioning, lots of slip and everything. I could see myself repurchasing it to use either as a rinse on or as a leave-in. So one thing with conditioners, if you're using conditioners as a leave-in, any conditioner you have to make sure you work it in really well. More so than leave-ins because you know it's not really necessarily meant to work as a leave-in. But once you work it in well, it can even give you an extra boost of moisture and so on. I want to do a video on that, I guess. I don't know if you guys care. But how to use rinse out as a leave-in and which rinse out you should use as a leave-in and stuff like that. Because I do use them as leave-in sometimes, but not all, and you know, you have to know the tricks and stuff. So, if you want to see more about that, let me know. I have one, at least one video, I think the pomegranate and pear conditioner uses a leave-in. So, I have at least one video up of me, actually two. Two videos up of me using She Scented Rinse Out Conditioners as a leave-in. Because I have one with the papaya conditioner as well. If you want to see more about that, let me know. <laughs> but this was a definite win as well, and I would definitely recommend this product as well. I don't usually go right through with the same line. I usually like mix and match all the time like I use a different conditioner, deep conditioner, leave-in and gel but I did it kind of twice in this stash because I did it with the passion fruit line from She Scented and then I did it with the honey tan main I used this peach ginger and quinoa replenishing hair mask to deep condition I used the blue rose coco rose creamy shampoo um, to cleanse which I love and it's kind of one of my staple shampoos so like this and the Baskin Bloom Herbal Cleanse are like my staple shampoos they moisturize and cleanse my hair without stripping I use this which isn't new which is why I'm not really featuring it super hard in this flashback because I'm focusing on new things but it's a love and then I use this Peach Ginger and Quinoa Replenishing Hair Mask so even though it says replenishing it's not super like protein treatment, strong hand and stuff. To me it's more moisturizing. If you don't like too much protein, don't be scared. I did use most of it after shampooing and I want to say with most Honey's handmade deep conditioners, I can't really say little goes a long way, which is partly because of how natural and light her products are, which I like because I like natural and I surely like light on my ultra low porosity hair. My hair felt moisturized, my hair felt soft. It wasn't super juicy like with the passion fruit and flax deep conditioner, but I probably even felt softer like to the touch than the passion fruit and flax because my hair is like most of my hair is really coarse and wiry so it actually feels rough to the touch but after this product my hair just felt silky and smooth for days when i say for days i mean for real like slam anyhow oh and it smells amazing too mm, i love it it's like peach with a little hint of ginger like it makes me want to find some peach ginger something to eat to be honest like it smells so yummy the only thing i would say about this is i wish it had a little more slip the slip was okay for already detangled hair but it wasn't anything i would detangle with and of course you know you could always wish that it went further <laughs> so that's the only downside i would say about this so i think i prefer the other deep conditioner i tried from her which i may link because i think it's like in my previous stash video so i may link so i probably won't be purchased this just because like i said slip wasn't that great didn't go that far and my hair didn't feel juicy but my hair felt silkier than ever, like really silky, which is a plus. And it was moisturized and everything and soft and everything and conditioned and everything. So I would definitely still recommend it. If you like the butters and you get moisture a little easier than I do, then I would recommend it and it could be perfect for you. And these are the ingredients on it. So next I use this peach ginger and quinoa leave-in. The leave-in I really liked. Again it says strengthening lotion but so far it seems like a normal leave-in to me. It smelled great just like the DC that peach ginger kind of scent but I feel like it had more slip than the DC. It moisturized my hair, defined my curls nicely and just smelled amazing and was really nice to use and left my hair feeling like super soft and silky. But just for that I would repurchase this. It may not have given me the most definition ever in a leave-in but I like the other things. And I also love just how simple she keeps her ingredients like I really love that about her products on the whole. After applying the leave-in I used this coffee cocoa curling custom. So of course after I mentioned it on Instagram people came in telling me they loved it as well but when I opened it and I saw it, it was a really kind of light cream I did get a little nervous but it turned out to work really nicely it has a nice kind of coffee cocoa scent or more cocoa scent I guess it has a bit of a kind of grainy stuff I don't know what it's just slightly slightly grainy to the touch but it works in really well 
um, and it does add some slight hole and definition, which I like. This is it in my hair right now. This is the whole palette handmade wash day still in my hair, so you can see. My hair feels soft, moisturized, definition is there, and it's cute, you know? So, yeah. So this custard did nicely for me for like a gel free wash and go. I was worried about not any hole but it definitely I do feel a very light hole. I love when my hair feels super light and everything but still feels like there's a little bit of hole like it got you just a little bit. That's my perfect no gel wash and go and this is it. So that's gonna actually be my new favorite no gel wash and go and it's coming to you with this coffee cocoa curling custard. And I guess the whole lineup because the conditioner left my hair soft and with seal kind of smoother cuticles which probably helped everything else. And the same thing for the leave-in. So seal conditioned cuticles which probably help this perform as well. If you are one of those who like a little bit of hole in your twist outs and stuff, I recommend this combo for that as well. So the ingredients on this is a little harder to see but I'm gonna get in there and see if you can see it. And last but not least we have the Royal Honey and Argan hair mask. So I did enjoy using this. My hair was like moisturized and conditioned and everything. It just wasn't as juicy as the pomegranate pear and as the flaxseed. So I don't think I would purchase it just for that. But again, if you don't have crazy low porosity like me, you'll definitely love it. And I did enjoy using it as well. So let me show you the ingredients. products in general I have a lot of fruit extracts which I like and this product was a little bit low on fruit extracts I noticed that and my hair kind of could tell so the honey was there but it wasn't really enough I guess to counteract the lack of fruit extracts so my hair did feel moisturized but not super juicy where I know that there's ultra penetration happening I did like it but I probably won't repurchase it because I think I prefer the passion fruit and flax and the pomegranate like and pear deep conditioners but if you guys have tried all of them like all three of them let me know which one is your favorite so I do think if you have normal or even regular low porosity like not ultra low low you probably enjoy this as well so that was it what I used this winter look out for another seasonal stash at the end of spring as to what I used in spring and I'm kind of feeling excited plus I haven't done my flaxseed gels so I think I will be trying a lot of products this spring I guess so look out at the end of spring to see more little flash reviews and of course look out all during spring to see reviews as I try things thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye